Hi, my name is Creighton Yost. I'm a senior editor for Amazon.com. I'm going to take you on a tour of some of our more popular GPS units. We're starting with the TomTom 910 GPS. Extremely popular, full function GPS. Lots to choose from. Harman Kardon, the new kid on the block, the GPS 500. This is Harman Kardon's first expedition in the GPS territory, and they've done really well so far. The old standby. This is Garmin's Nuvi series. There's actually several units in the Nuvi series. This is the 660 widescreen. Very popular device, extremely easy to use. Garmin is the dominant player in GPS. This is Magellan Maestro. You might have heard of the Roadmate series, extremely popular for a large amount of time. Now they've come back to market with some really great options. This is the 4040. We're going to find a Starbucks. Shouldn't be too hard to do in Washington, especially in Seattle. We're just going to plug a local uh, destination in and ask for a Starbucks nearby to the location we're at and see what the discrepancies are between each unit as it navigates there. The GPS unit itself is not giving you the data. The data is provided by two major mapping data sales houses. One being Teleatlas, who does TomTom, -Tom, and Navtech, who does some of the other ones. In the event that you aren't sure where you're going and you just sort of randomly drive around, the units will recalculate depending on what the best route is for you. You assign variables to it if you want a U-turn, if you don't want a U-turn, avoid ferries, all sorts of things. So now we're off map. We've left the pre-programmed route. Take next right. Continue 500 feet, then turn right on 32nd Avenue. After 100 yards, turn right. Each unit will try to reconcile right the issue in its own way. Take next turn right. right. Luckily, all of them asking us to turn on 32nd. And we're on 32nd. Arrive at your destination in 200 feet. Turn right on 33rd Avenue West. You have reached your destination. Arriving at Starbucks. You have arrived at your destination. 